a number of people ask the sleeping pattern that me and Gepi have followed in a 72 hour competition. Now I want to start off with a rule of thumb method of sleeping patterns. That's a early evening and a late evening. The benefits of an early and a late evening is normally at your late afternoon where there's a lot of work to be done that both anglers is then available to assist till around about nine o'clock. Then the early evening starts with one of the anglers that goes to bed till around about one o'clock and then from one o'clock till around about four or five o'clock the late evening starts and the second angler goes to bed. The, the implication of that is that from five o'clock in the early morning when the fish are active that both anglers are able to fish again. That's the normal rule of thumb but that's absolutely not what me and Gepi have followed. Uh, before I get to our sleeping patterns I just want to explain that we took this very seriously. Uh, three weeks before the World Games Gepi completed a, a, a full marathon of 42 kilometers. I was injured and could not participate in the marathon but I prepared myself in other exercises that I was able to box a full 10 rounds of boxing so our our fitness uh, physical fitness was at a very very high level secondly as we prepared ourselves mentally on a daily basis we created scenarios to ourselves which we had to fulfill with to ensure that whatever gets thrown at us that we are ready for it so when it comes to our sleeping patterns and if you ask Gepia he will says if you know you're on the clerk there's one sleep sleeping pattern and that's none um, so our principle was completely different from the norm. We would at the first evening sleep as much as possible. And if I mean we, I physically mean both of us will sleep during the first evening as much as possible. What we will normally do around about 11 o'clock, the first evening the fish is not very active. We will put the four rods in, prepare ourselves uh, quickly and then go to bed, both of us. But we will set the alarm for 35 minutes, 45 minutes or an hour. If nothing happens in that 45 hours to an hour, we will both get up when the alarm goes off, pull the four rods out, prepare them, put them back in and both go to bed again. If anything happens within 15 or 20 minutes, a rod goes, both of us will get up. And one will catch the fish and the next one will prepare so that when the fish comes out we will quickly throw that rod back and we'll go both of us back to bed. That was our uh, first evening approach. Uh, what I just want to mention, what I've realized from other uh, uh, pigs that's talking to us that you know when a guy gets off out of bed from the early evening it took him a half an hour to an hour to get into the rhythm to go into the mode of fishing again with me and Gepia there was no time for that if um, the alarm goes off we both get up immediately there wasn't time to be prepared and if one of us does go to bed the next person that calls him to be awake and to come and assist there wasn't a five or a ten minute period that you can prepare yourself mentally to get up and get ready to fish. If you get cold, you immediately get up, you immediately get stuck into it and uh, start fishing and take over the role uh, on, on the pick if that was required from you. So we didn't have this preparation time. On the second evening, uh, this is where the mental and the physical toughness came and we normally did not sleep on the second evening. Um, we had an um, informal arrangement between me and Gepia. If I had to go to bed on the second evening, I never went to my stretcher. I would go, lie down in the middle of the tent on the floor on my back. The reason why I did that is if I fall asleep, I could manage to sleep 30, 35 minutes, then my body is too sore and I'll then automatically wake up or Gepia will trample over me when he go fetch something and that forced me to sleep for only short periods of time. Gepia was a little bit different from me. Um, he would uh, require a bit more sleep so he will carry on and he will tell me at a stage that mate I'm now not at a good place I'm going to bed and I'll chuck him into bed and I'll let him sleep as much as possible um, which I mean maybe two three hours and then I'll go call him and again I say when I call him and I stress the fact if I say Gepia it's time that you must come help Buddha he immediately gets up gets stuck into the job he didn't go and make coffee and take an half an hour stretching out and then get ready the last evening where everybody is awake, we were also awake during that evening. It normally happened during that evening that we could not manage because remember in the first evening with the 
both of us sleeping at ma we managed to get in two or three hours sleep and the second evening very seldom an hour or nothing and then the last evening we pushed ourselves to the limits uh, I will at a stage tell him that Buddha I can't carry on now I'm tired and I'll sit in the chair or I'll go lie flat on the in the middle of the tent for the 35 or 40 minutes and I get a power nap and I'll get back onto it and go and go uh, on with our normal routine uh, I can recall on the world games at 20 to 3 the evening he said to me I'm not at a good place I'm going to lie down for a while and I sent him to bed and it was like three minutes I could hear this guy sleeping very deeply and quarter to five I saw the fishes ready to be raked and I called him and I said here you better get up now we need to rake and we're not in a comfortable position when it comes to wait to win this thing so you must come and assist and it was like minutes and he was with me um, and then normally when that happens the adrenaline keeps you going till the end of the competition so I was sleeping patterns there was none we followed this uh, very physical fitness program and the mental ability to be able to manage the 72 hours